I'm a creep. I'm a weirdo. I don't care if it hurts. I wish I was special. I don't belong here. These stories and what the hell am I doing here tonight on Colonel Bleep. And now stand by for adventure. Three, two, one. Contact the is the secret, of... is the moment when everything happens. Earth from outer space. Colonel Bleep, Squeak, and Scratch are on their way to outer space for Having gotten bored with Earth planet. already. Earth! Here, hundreds of miles above the Earth, they see our planet as a huge round ball. <laughs> I think you mean a slightly pear-shaped oblate spheroid? The Earth completes a full circle around the Sun every 364 and a quarter days, which is exactly one year by our calendar. Three-fourths of one by the calendar I got at the Dollar Tree. Completely around. Once every 24 hours, one full day by our clock. Or one full season by Jack Bowers. Half of the Earth faces the brilliance of the sun at a time. That side being a glow with daylight. Adventure! From the sun, the daylight fades into the darkness we call night. Heralding the emergence of the cosmic owl. Billions of years ago, the Earth was probably blazing hot like the sun. But then it but hit middle age, didn't work out as much, hereditary genetics kicked in. I mean, I wouldn't kick it out of bed for eating crackers, but... We know and live upon today. But if Bleep and his friends were to remove a slice from our Earth... Like Millions would die in a fiery cataclysm, so just do what they say! Fiery molten rock. Yes, no matter how you look at it, from the ground or... From deep in outer space... Can the you see why kids love Cinnamon Toast Crunch? <laughs> Squeak. Hey, wait a minute! They're all named the after sound effects! Well spotted, Jim. Well, thank you. But it can be even more exciting close up. So, so stick your face in some dirt. For a closer look at one of the cities in which the people of this planet work, live, and die! Play. As Colonel Bleep, <laughs> Squeak, and Scratch, so Peek down through the clouds, they found the city of New Orleans, Louisiana, cradled within the wide-sweeping curves of the mighty Mississippi River. Oh, Today, they're going to be seeing some wide-sweeping curves, all right. Hey, ...and swift ocean-going freighters, which have made New Orleans the second-largest United States port. Adventure! <laughs> ...admired the towering buildings in the business district, and Scratch was fascinated by the colorful flags of the International Trademark Building. Yeah, but he's also Meanwhile, fascinated by dangling keys. Street, ...the widest street in the nation, and it seemed the whole city was aglow with excitement. This was the season of the Mardi Gras. And that Squeak had an armload of bead necklaces ready for tossing. Bleep. Got offered 50 bucks by some Bleep. fat guy who wanted to give him a blow. Blue Jim! Landed atop one Sorry. of the most beautiful boats in the parade. And the people cheered wildly because Bleep and his friends looked just like three happy paraders. Disguised in weird costumes of the past, present, and future. Where exactly in the present does one find living puppets on a regular basis? Holy sh**, that's a good f lamp! But for Scratch, the best thing of all was sampling the chef's prize Creole cooking. They serve this guy, yet yeah, I'm banned from the Sizzler. You ate two tables, Jim. Actual tables. Squeak and Scratch. What? The, did the announcer just air burp at us? Uh, maybe he got schnockered at one of New Orleans' many fine inebriation suppliers. And I just realized we never wrote an ending to this. <laughs> well, come on, Jim, we have to make up something quick. Uh, contact, <laughs> it's the reason, it's the... What do I pay you for? I haven't got the damnedest. I think we may have just improvised the ending. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Pipples, if you liked our nonsense, why don't you give us a like, or a subscribe, or leave a comment down there somewhere? You can also do us a big solid by joining our Patreon, where you'll get to join us for live streams, get early access to the newest videos, and other such things. Geek Vision.